Hello everybody, it's me Kira from Katie Pets and More and today I'm going to be showing you guys my rabbit cage. I'm getting my rabbit today, later today, and I will be doing a short vlog, not too big, um, of the place where we're getting it. Um, and I'll show you guys some rabbits and other cute animals. Um, so let's show you guys the cage. So first on the cage is the lock, which you can see very much. So this is a dog crate, an old dog crate. So we have two of these. We have one up here, which it is locked. One up here and one down here. And then we have this, which it hooks onto this and this. There's like two little pieces. It's like this right here. It hooks onto that, this piece right here and this piece, but it's right here. It might look weird, but it's secure. Um, so to open it, I just push here. It's hard to get a grip on. Hold on. Let me pause this and it'll be unlocked. Okay, so this is off, which I'm not going to hook on anymore because that was really hard to put, take off. But it was just hanging here in case I need to hook anything up. So then you lift up and pull. This one's a little tricky. And then the top one's just same thing. Just got it. And then it opens. Magic. And this is still hanging here. So. This is our cage, my cage. It is two stories and it is quite big. So it's like, I think, believe it's 33 by 57. And then I don't know what that one is. I just know what the base is. So it is wood under here um, with just a blanket so that it has a little bit of cushion so it doesn't get sore hocked, hopefully. Hopefully I'm doing this right. Uh, if not, this if this blade doesn't work, I'll probably get some more and see if those work. I'm also going to try to get a memory foam mat to put back there. I don't know. So we have a hay and pellet feeder. I'm going to take that tag out. Don't worry. You're supposed to put the pellets here and hay here. I'm, this is definitely going to be the pellets, but I might put a little bit of hay in here, but not a lot because I want the hay in there so that the rabbit doesn't think they can poop right here. We want them to poop and pee in there. All right, so this is from PetSmart. And we have this little ceramic. Oh, this is like tied on and stuff. If you guys can see that. So it's got like a honey, like a bee hive design, which is really cute. Just a brown classic ceramic bowl. It can't tip easily. Um. So yeah, that's the food station. We have a giant igloo right here. It's the purple one. Um, also from PetSmart, I'm in the cage. That just proves how big it is. Um, and inside, you guys can't see that. There's a bunch of little toys like this. Oh, just lost one. So we can kind of, he or she can kind of dig around in there uh, and also chew on these blocks to wear down their teeth so they don't get too sharp. So they're just gonna toss them in there. Got a one back here. Sorry, it's so dark back there. I might put a little light near here. Uh, here is a little litter box, which I cut. So it is a square litter box and a corner litter box. And I know these aren't the best because they're quite small, but we're hopefully getting a dwarf so we can have a smaller rabbit. Uh, and this is the extra large. So we'll, if it doesn't work out, we'll get a different one. And I just cut out some newspapers to fit at the bottom. So next we have this homemade ramp. This entire cage is pretty much homemade. Oh, sorry. Um, which doesn't have anything on it, just so the rabbit can get a grip. And then up here we have this super soft blanket with a bunch of hearts and a bunch of toys. So we have this over here, which the rabbit can, will hopefully like lay on or something like that. Um, but if the rabbit starts nipping or chewing at it, we're gonna take this blanket out. Um, this one I don't worry about too much because it's really thin. This one's really thick, so I don't know if the rabbit's gonna like try to eat this, and it won't be good because it's flea. It's not fleece; it's like fur. Anyway, so oh yeah, did I mention that's from PetSmart? Okay, so we got this old toilet paper roll, which I just cut, and then you like go like this, and you stick hay in there. I do have hay; I just haven't stuck it in yet because I want it to be pretty fresh when I get this bunny. Or rabbit, sorry. Um, so I have these sink pool sinkers toys, and which is plastic, so they can just chew on it and hopefully throw them around and have some fun. Uh, all the toys are up here, 
which I don't know if I like that. I might put these toys down there so that the rabbit doesn't like fall or something like that. Because this isn't the biggest. If I do put a toy up here, definitely I want to get the ones that you clip up here and they just hang down. Um, but yeah, and then we also got this, which is from pet. These are probably these are from Target, but these are like older. We haven't ever used them though, but we had them. Um, and then this is from PetSmart. It's just two wood balls at the end with a with a wood stick, um, which is all connected with twine. So uh, it's like a mini weight. So there's lots of wood to chew. I might make it so I take this out so we just has two little balls and a stick i don't know or i might keep it like this i i still don't know what i'm technic what i'm doing uh for some of the stuff once i get the rabbit i'll really like make modifications to fit the rabbit's needs so i'll be right back with the outside all right so here's the outside of the cage so i was sitting right here the entire time so it is really big it looks a lot smaller on camera um, so he just has this two, him or her, sorry. They just have their two stories and then their big open area. They will have playtime all around here. I'm kind of scared about going them, he, he or she going in there. In my closet, which I'm going to block off, hopefully. And under my bed. I was thinking of putting, like, tin foil along that. Might not look good, but it'll be safe. And then I'll also have to put tin foil over here. So tell me guys your ideas for that. So if I move my chair, um, right below my desk I have this empty box, which I'm going to put like extra toys in. We have this box thing which slides out and opens up. This has the hay in it, the pellets, and some papaya treats. I don't know if these are good for them, I just kind of got them because I knew papaya was good. So, if any rabbit experts are watching this, just please tell me if this is good or not. Because I don't want to give it to my rabbit and they'd be bad. So, I don't know. So, that's where my food goes. We have, oh, so, we got the Essentials Young Rabbit Food, which I believe is high in fiber, which helps them grow faster, I think this. Um, and I made sure to read it. It says no seeds or fruits or no artificial flavorings. So it's all natural and no seeds or fruits. So it has no added things. It's just the pellets, which I can make sure of right here. So these bags are heavy. And we're going to get more, but this is just for now. So it just conveniently slides under my desk. I put this on top, and I can push it all the way back, and then push in my chair so it doesn't look like I have a bunch of hay and pellets just sitting around. I know that looks weird, but I didn't want to. So, I got my cage, my food, and then this is the play area. It just has all of this including where I'm standing. I'm going to put that, I'm definitely gonna throw that away, but then I'm gonna put my trash can up. That's just a bin, so I don't care if it, the bunny like goes around it. I might even make it so the bunny can hop on top of it and take the stuff off. But yeah, I mean, it, I rabbit proofed it the best I could. Um, I do have some cords, but I'll pick those up. Um, like I can just conveniently put my phone, charger, into this bag that says Kira. Um, so, oops, sorry, I'm so sorry, guys. Uh, really sorry about that. I'm new to this. Uh, thank you for watching this video. Please like, subscribe, and if you guys want, hit the notification bell down below so you guys know every single time I post. Um, please comment down below how excited you guys are. Um, I know I haven't posted some videos in quite a while. I just haven't had any time or news. Um, and that's the word. I don't necessarily know. I haven't had any inspiration or I haven't had any ideas to make a video with. Um, I Now with the rabbit being here, I will have a lot more videos to use and make. So, uh, thank you for watching and I love you guys. Goodbye.